by the end of the video you will get something like this a cool flashlight that's very simple to make and that actually works pretty good it moves with your camera also the light moves with your camera and you can activate and deactivate it by pressing the f key this flashlight is awesome for horror games or any other games and it's really just a cool simple method to make something that important so let's get right into guys what is up welcome to my first video on this new youtube channel and in the first video here we are going to make a simple flashlight in unity flashlight in unity yeah so our uh, first thing is we start with a completely empty scene here and a completely new project so the first thing that you will need for this is you just uh, need a standard assets because you will need for the flashlight you will probably uh, need the uh, fps controller so you can of course make your own controller but uh, your own fps controller but it's better to just use the standard assets so we are going to the um, unity asset store here and simply search for the standard assets um and they should be around here um standard asset uh why are they not here um i search again you so you just type standard assets standard assets here they are and here you will get this and then you just um if you never had those there will be a download button but since i've already downloaded them i just need the to press import and i'm just gonna import everything you don't need to import everything but i'm just gonna do it here for this uh, project so yeah you wait a little bit and this should be uh, importing everything that you will need for the project yeah so now everything is imported but what you will actually need to do is you see this message here and that's because um, the standard assets of for unity uh, two th 2017 and uh, we are using 2019.3.3 for this video so there's an error message and but it will actually it, the error message is in this script but what we can actually do is just delete the script and if we now go to our console we see no error messages and if we hit play we can also see that there are no error messages and we can still play normally uh yeah so here you can see we can play normally so what you can need to do then is just you can delete this camera here so just go delete here and we can actually go create and make a 3d object which will be a plane so this is just a simple plane so we can then walk here so then we need to go to standard assets then we need to go to characters first person characters prefabs and drag in the fps controller you can also use the rigid body fps controller but i think this one is way better because it also has footstep sounds and everything so this is by far the better one so now we have this and we can actually now play the game and walk around perfect so now we need to of course exit this uh so here all right so now the next thing is we will need to make a flashlight of course you can use your uh, blender if you have blender you can of course 
make a flashlight or any other 3D program, you can of course make your own flashlight. But I don't have a flashlight made in Blender. So we are just going to go to here. So hit the plus sign here. Then 3D object and make a cylinder. So this will be our flashlight. We can do this. And now this doesn't really look like a flashlight. So we are just going to rotate it on the X by, we can do 90. And of course we are going to get the scale maybe 2.5 here and 2.5 here and also 2.5 here. But well actually we can get this to 1. Alright then we are just going to reset the position and see where it actually is. So it's here. Um, now we need to drag it so that we can actually here see it as a flashlight. So um, the cylinder needs to be like here and on the Y maybe here and on the Z here. So this looks like a good flashlight. It's not the most professional, but it's actually working. So now, when you have positioned this correctly, then you're just gonna drag it onto the FPS controller. This will make it a child of the FPS controller, so it will move with it. Here we can just test it. Here you can now see the flashlight moves with the FPS controller. Of course, it's not the best movement also here. But this is not that important. We can fix this later, actually. So now you have this. But we are, this doesn't make any light. So we also need to hit the plus sign and make a new light. And for flashlight, the best light is the spotlight. So here you have it. Then we are going to use the rotate tool to make it rotate somewhere around here. This seems good. So just gonna make it zero on the X. So now this spotlight needs to be positioned too. And this needs to be positioned on this um, here where this thing actually ends. So it needs to be on this. Of course, you can also increase the range so your flashlight goes further and also this and now here you can see the light is actually there you can also increase the intensity let's put it on to 1.5 so we actually have our light here this actually looks pretty good so now we're gonna make it a child of the fps controller and if we now hit play we can actually see how our light with our flashlight is actually moving. So this is really awesome, but of course it's always active. And if you have like a game where you want to deactivate it, then you will need a script and we will actually create the script now. So you can just go create and add a C sharp script and we will call it flash light. Good. Then you double click on the script and it will open it in, uh, it depends on what software you have installed. For me, it's Visual Studio. So yeah, it's with Visual Studio takes a bit to open, but now it should be working fine. So here you have this. What we are going to create first is a public game object this and we'll just call it flash light good then oh this can be called uh, with as the name so we're just gonna make it small good because this name can't be the same as our script name so the next thing is we're gonna create another public game object and this time we'll call it light you can of course uh, call it um, differently 
it's just I like it so. Uh, so now we are in the update. We can actually delete the start here as we don't actually need it and also this we don't need it. So here in the update we're gonna put an if statement. So if then we're gonna make input dot get key down here we go and we I want the flashlight to be active if we press F for flashlight so I'm just gonna make key code dot F so now it will show you an error here and this is because we need those so now if you have this if input dot get key down F then you want your flashlight um, set active so you're just gonna put set active here and then you want it to be true so here we go good you can actually uh, copy this so C and yeah and now oh yeah you need a true sorry your light also needs this so just put in light and set active true but we of course want um to deactivate it if we press f again so we make a bool ah sorry i misspelled it so a bool and we call it is active and um from the beginning we actually want it to be false so is false good if we now have this we want our is active to be equal no to be true good and now we're just gonna copy this thing and put it here and now we actually need um another thing so you press so um get this and then we want is active this will make sure uh, that this only that this thing only works if is active is true which it isn't but we want our flashlight to activate if it isn't true so from the beginning so we'll just make a is equal to false so now here we also need this so here is active but this time we want it to be true and here we want the is active to be false good so this should now actually work let's go here oh no this wouldn't work because we activate those objects here so just put in false here and also put in false here good now we save this and go back into unity good now our script needs to be somewhere so we're just gonna make a empty object and drag it inside of our fps controller then we're gonna put these two objects that we just created into the empty object and we can just call this object flashlight so here a flash light good and this now needs our script so we are just gonna search for flashlight and here we have our script now just put your spotlight in the light in your cylinder in the flashlight good now you need to deactivate those so here just uncheck this little box here and now we go inside of here and if we press F it will normally it should actually uh, make uh, activate our flashlight but something isn't actually working here also I made a little mistake um, this has to be else if not just if you have to put else if in front of it then save it 
and then go back into unity and it should now work perfectly fine so you'll press f and the flashlight appears and if we press it um, another time then it will actually disappear and so with this mechanic you can actually create every game you want it's perfect for horror games or just any other games and the flashlight actually looks pretty cool also I'm uh, just gonna make a wall here so I can show it so here you can actually see the light actually works pretty well and everything is good it's just a simple flashlight of course you can make it with sounds and of course with animations and make it look much cooler but this is actually good for now um, what you can also do actually is put the flashlight under the first person character uh, it should then do this here so if you want your flashlight to move like this then you can actually put it under your camera so it goes with this but of course there are a few errors like if you go under under the ground the flashlight actually disappears here but everything is actually working pretty nice good so this was it with this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video